Good evening. WA tennis legend Margaret Court is hitting back at her critics tonight after it was revealed she's set to receive the nation's highest honour this Australia Day. Critics say she doesn't deserve the award because she's opposed to gay marriage. But the church leader simply says she'll pray for them. From tennis queen to anti-gay marriage Pentecostal preacher, no one polarises public opinion like Perth's Margaret Court. I'm like quite sick of talking about that person every summer. We finish up having this discussion in one form or another every single summer. And here we go again. After an embargo ahead of next week's Australia Day honours was broken on social media, revealing the 24-time Grand Slam winner will receive the nation's highest gong, being made a companion in the general division of the Order of Australia. It is a great honour and uh, I think, you know, I represented my nation for so many years. Within hours of the news breaking, Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews slammed the decision makers. You might want to speak to them about why they think those views which are disgraceful, hurtful and cost lives should be honoured. I think for freedom of speech in the nation that we should be able to say my beliefs from the Bible. Uh, that's what I teach. The Victory Life Church Reverend has infuriated many big names in the tennis world with her campaigns against same-sex marriage. Her refusal to accept gay people have rights. There's only one thing longer than the list of Margaret Court's tennis achievements. It's her list of offensive and homophobic statements. They want Melbourne's Margaret Court Arena renamed. Premier Andrew says her views are dangerous. And I don't believe she should be honoured because of that. But she will be, and on Sunday her legion of followers will flock to the Victory Life Church, knowing that the Australia Day Council supports Margaret Court's place in history. The criteria for the Companion of the Order of Australia requires eminent achievement and merit of the highest degree in service to Australia or humanity at large. I'm being honest with you, I do not support that. I don't believe that she has views that accord with the vast majority of people across our nation. I call him blessed. That's it? Yep, yeah, that's it. I do. I pray for him. A gentle backhander from a sporting legend who continues to court controversy. Gary Ad said, Nine News.